self-sabotage. I think on some level, everybody does it to themselves in some way, okay? We all agree on that. Sometimes it's really big stuff that really, really rocks your world. Or other times it's a little, little peddly little things that just affect your, your life, you know, negatively. So basically, even things like self-sabotaging, you know, where we're in some way unconsciously causing uh, dissension or disruptions or, you know, agitations, irritations, things like that. It's, you know, like, again, it's all about us, you know? So, you know, in some, some people's realities or teachings, they might say that, you know, you're 50% responsible or accountable for your, your world and what happens. And I'm going to here tell you straight up, it's 100%, mm -hmm. sorry. That means everything that you are experiencing. And I do mean everything. You are creating it on some level. Okay? And I know too, you look at your life and you also hear stories about little kids that maybe get abused and you go, well, how can they be creating that? How can they be calling that in? Okay? Well, if you start tracking who they are, the soul of who they are, and we start going back into their life stream, remember, we forget when we come into these physical bodies, you're not remembering that you agreed to be violated or, or beaten or, or raped or murdered or, you know, abused. You don't remember that, but you're, you agreed to that at a time when you wanted to know yourself in different ways. So we're all perpetrators, we're all victims on some level, and the more you really get that, then it, the easier it is to, to, to relax into your life experience. But the more you relax into your life experience, then actually the more you're able to let go of and release in the deep, deep, deep recesses of the subconscious. When you are resisting and fighting your life and the experiences that you are having, then you're also going to be resisting the energy that could be released. Because anytime you're in that no, you can feel in your body an agitation. There's an actual physical sensation that you will feel inside when you are resisting whatever is. I don't care if, if it's the sun shining or not shining. If you're not liking it, you're resisting what is, but you can feel that agitation inside. When you're resisting the, the actual energy of what is, doesn't matter what it is, then to clear stuff out, you're still in resistance to allowing these energies to present. And in a clearing, in order to really go deep, part of the process is that you relax into and allow yourself to feel what it feels like. Okay, for example, let's just say, okay, the sun's it's shining right now, but we know maybe later today there could be some thunder showers. So let's just say that I'm just like, I don't want it to rain. I don't want no more showers. I don't want no more gray clouds. So I'm in this no. Resist, resist, resist. So when I'm resisting, how can I possibly know what it feels like underneath the resistance, the emotion that's there if I'm in a state of resistance? So if I allow myself to just go, okay, I can feel or I'm not liking the idea that, you know, it could get cloudy again today and it could start to rain. I can feel where I don't like that. Okay, so now rather than going into the resistance of that, now I'm going to let myself just feel into, okay, well, what's going on? What am I really feeling here? How, what, what's, what am I feeling inside that's causing this agitation? So what I do is I, go, I think about, okay, it's going to start come clouding over and then I let myself feel, how does that make me feel? And when I feel that, I can go, oh, it makes me feel there's a little bit of frustration. Oh, I can feel some frustration. Hmm. So now I go, okay, I can feel that. So if I can let myself feel that frustration and just allow it to be there, then what will happen is what's underneath that will present. Okay? So then I feel into the frustration, allow it, and then I sink into that a little bit, and then I stay with it. And just feeling into that, then I can start to feel, oh, maybe there's a little bit of sadness. Okay, so then I let myself have that sadness. And then once I'm in that feeling state, then I can feel what's underneath that. And maybe underneath that there might be anger. 
okay? So the more we allow ourselves to just feel into whatever's presenting, then the more we become available to allow the unconscious energies to present, which is what we want. In a clearing, we're after the unconscious stuff, okay? So let's go back to people coming into the world and forgetting, you know, all your lifetimes, you forget. And then you come in, and even in the womb, there's things that you've agreed to experience. Let's just say, for example, someone that came, comes into the, the womb, and then the mother tries to abort. Even that is agreed upon. Even that experience is part of our evolution, part of our growth, but we don't remember. That's part of the problem, is we forget. So in the forgetting, we think we're victims, and then you did that to me, you're causing that, you hurt me, blame, blame, blame. And reality is there's no one to blame, not even yourself. It's all about experience, because in experience is where we get to know life, we get to know who we are in different experiences. And it, and it reveals at soul levels, but it also allows the soul level to grow, not just the human body, but the soul level is growing, okay? so. So we come in and someone comes in and the first thing that happens within the first couple of weeks is the parent tries to abort the baby, it doesn't work, baby's going to be born. Well, all that trauma is still lodged in the psyche of that baby, even though it's only two weeks of life. It doesn't even have hardly any form, okay? But it's still, the trauma gets anchored in and they come into the world and then in some ways when that deep rejection it feels like a rejection okay if your mother's trying to get rid of you how are you going to interpret that you're not wanted you're not loved you don't belong here you're not important you don't matter you might as well get out okay so you get that anchored in and then that becomes the foundation of your life in the world and then other things happen okay so maybe you call in some kind of abuse maybe some other kinds of rejections maybe someone you know, literally causes you harm, or you, so it becomes physical. So there's all these different things that happen, and maybe there's a, you know, even in the family, maybe there's a molestation, or maybe there's a, you know, an abusive thing that happens, or maybe you're abandoned, or rejected, or given away. So all of those are all the foundations, but you've already called that all in. You've already agreed to have these experiences, but once again, you don't remember. Okay? You're not meant to remember, you're meant to, to clear stuff, and get it out of your energy field by releasing the energy. Sometimes it means releasing emotions. Sometimes it means releasing the energies that aren't you. And the interferences that are in everyone's body is astounding. Okay? You know, in typical... Um, some of the even shamanic practices and other modalities, they might indicate that you might have a couple entities inside your body. Maybe five entities, maybe ten, you know, but that's getting pretty high up there. Okay, but basically, when we start scanning the energy field and when you really start opening your awareness and abilities and, and, and are able to track the more subtle energies, you're going to find that people have hundreds, sometimes over a thousand other people inside of them, okay? All of those people have emotions. Just think about this. Think about your own life. Think about what you go through. Think about your feelings, your emotions, okay? When you have a reaction to something, that energy that you feel, pretend like now, okay, you just died, your, your body's gone, but you, the essence of who you are is eternal, but rather than going to the light, you come into my body because there's a matching frequency. Well, now I'm going to feel your feelings and your thoughts strong in my body, and I'm going to think it's me. Well, just let's compound that by a few hundred other people that have come into your body with all of their feelings, their beliefs, their, their judgments, their worries, their concerns, their addictions, you know, all their stuff, and now they're in your body. I, ha I can't tell you how many times just taking out even one entity completely shifted and changed someone's life. Because that one entity was really strong, meaning that it was living through the body as though it was their own, and it took over in a sense, and in that, 
you know, the person that the body belonged to, yes, they were present, but this other energy was so strong that they didn't know the difference. And yet when it was gone, it was like everything changed. And then there's all the other entities inside that we also remove because there's going to be hundreds of them, at least 50 or more, with the same frequency, same thoughts, feelings, energies, emotions, beliefs, because energy attracts the same frequency. So whatever you grew up with, whatever your energies are, whatever your emotions are, whatever your beliefs are, whatever your thoughts are, whatever your fears, your phobias, your addictions, whatever they are, you're going to draw in to you the same. And then it gets even more, 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 more. Okay. So as we clear these out, then more of your authentic self is here. We also bring more of you back in. So even when you have all these traumatic experiences, you actually leave your body. I mean, pieces of you, essence of you leaves your body. When you think about really intense experiences that really scared you, like even as a child, if you're a child and you got someone big that's abusive or a big energy that's frightening or scares you, I guarantee you little pieces of you are going to leave and they're not going to come back until it's safe. And it's not going to be safe if your body's inundated with other beings. I mean, when I'm doing retrieving and bringing pieces back in, I'll find pieces of, of, of you or whoever I'm working with. And sometimes they're ready to come back in and sometimes they're not coming back in until I do some more clearing. And then, then you're more able to come back in. But I mean, it's like anything. Who wants to come into a traumatic, a trauma, a fear, bay, a fear experience of other beings that are inside your body? You know, okay, check this out. Sometimes I've actually had the perpetrator of another being and both those beings were inside of somebody's body. Am I making sense? Okay, so they're both dead, but the one who perpetrated and harmed this other one, they're both in there. So then there's a battle inside. The perpetrator's in there, the other person's in there too that's really afraid, so never feels safe. So what happens in this human body that's yours? You're going to feel unsafe in the world. You're not going to trust people. You're always going to have some kind of agitation running inside your body because you're feeling both of them. That one person that got, you know, perpetrated against is always going to be afraid because the perpetrator's in there with you. Can you imagine? That'd be like coming into a room and there's the one who harmed you and what, you're always going to be on guard, right? You're always going to be waiting for something to happen in that fear in your body. So by these beings inside of your body and they're inside, both of them are inside, you don't know that that's what's happening. You're just having this experience. Now they could have been drawn in because as a child, perhaps you were abused in some way or were afraid at times in some way. So you had that frequency that you were echoing out through your brain waves and then the, the energy itself. So it was a perfect match for that person to come in because the frequency is the same. And then the perpetrator just followed that one in. And you know, so there you are, you got this stuff, this battle inside and you think it's you and it's not. So as we take these out of your body, then bring back more of you than who you are, more of you gets to shine. Okay. So with today's topic, the self-sabotage, just imagine if you had all these incarnational experiences, all your different lifetimes, and each lifetime you learn something new. And what I mean by that is learning something new is you have a new experience that you perhaps didn't have in that lifetime a new, new um, th something that's caused you to feel insecure, to feel afraid. You know, see, we don't need to con be concerned about your divine light because that's pure. Nothing's going to touch that. But as you close your heart and protect your heart, then you lose, you lose your sense of connection with self. Okay. Then we start to look externally for connection and for oneness and for acceptance and love. And, our bodies are still are full of trauma. So as we're unraveling, it's, it's all about the, the relaxing into and also letting the energies come forward. So if you've got a lot of trauma inside, sometimes that's really difficult to do. 
So that's why when we, when we start the clearing and I have you just kind of feel into something, you know, we're just going to go nice and easy. We're not going to take you into trauma, but we are going to release the trauma because all I really need from you is just be with that sensation, be with the feelings. So as you're evolving, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but as you're evolving and you've made all these, all these experiences that you've collected over lifetimes, what you're really trying to do and this is, a, this is the, the key teaching here. I'm going to tell you straight up. This is key. You are literally believing that in this lifetime, you're going to unravel it. Okay? You're going to do it this time. Now remember, you're up in, the, in this beautiful light. You're in pure awareness. There's no physicality. There's no emotions. You're this divine conscious energy. Okay? This is where you make these agreements. So you're not thinking about the physical stuff. You're not remembering that, okay, when I get into the physical body, it's going to be really intense. No, it's like, this time around, it's going to happen. Liberation, freedom. Okay, this time, this time. 500 lifetimes later, 900 lifetimes later, it's this time, it's this time, okay? So, you've got all this energy in your soul imprint. Like, if you could see your soul imprint, it's going to be just full, full, full of darker energy because you've had so many experiences that you didn't release. But like I said, this time you're believing you're going to release it. So in order to release any trauma, any shock, any suffering, any pain, any loss, any rejections, emotional pain, you have to know it. So what happens when you have an experience in life? What's the first thing you do? Don't go there. Avoid. Rise above it. Push it down. Okay, check this out. This is way back. Back in, um, when was that? Back in the early 90s, like 93, 94, I used to go to Alaska and I would work with the Inuits up there and I had a certain tribe that I worked with. One of the elders, we were getting ready to do a major workshop on emotional clearing. One of the elders, I was speaking and I was sharing that, you know, in order to release energy, we have to know it, we need to feel it. That means surrender to it, allow the energy to move through the body. He says to me, if I believe what you are telling me, then my whole life is a lie and I cannot do that. See, he was someone who worked with hundreds of people in prison, native, you know, the Inuits in prison, as you know, a lot, of pe a lot of alcoholism, a lot of abuse, a lot of sexual stuff. So he's working with them. What he was teaching them was to rise above it, put it behind you, okay? Even psychiatrists don't take you there. When you, feel, you know, they don't want you to get emotional, they want you to put it behind you. I'm gonna tell you right now, you put it behind you, it never goes away. You die and it's still with you. And here you are again. Okay, this time I'll do it. Okay? So the key is using everyday life because you're going to get an opportunity every day on some level to find something inside that could be cleared. So by using your reactions, not making it about somebody else, but let's just say an event happens, something happens, you have a conflict with someone and you're feeling all this energy and you want to make them wrong. You said that, you did that, you're making me feel this way, why are you doing this to me? Okay? We all do it. We've all done it. Until we don't. So now, you know that thing that says, even other teachings, they say, point it back in here, it's all about me. That's only the top step. If you don't take it any further, nothing changes. So the key is, once you're in that feeling state and you, and you pull your energy off of the person who you think has caused you to feel this way, because you're going to do it, you're going to want to make them wrong and fight over it in your own self, but as you really come in and you start going, okay, all right, all right, all right, how am I feeling? Okay, right now I'm feeling agitated, I'm angry, stay with that, all right, fine, I'm angry, good. Go under, now once you stay with that, now you can go underneath that. Oh, my feelings got hurt. Oh, okay, stay with that. Stay with that feeling. So now you're feeling where your feelings got hurt. And then you start feeling that sadness, okay? Ah, once you start ex accepting and relaxing into a feeling, you can keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay? But you have to surrender to each feeling state 
sometimes to the point where you are literally crying to the point where you feel like your heart is breaking. It can feel like your heart is shattering, okay? But you stay there, you don't go away. The moment you have thoughts, you're no longer accessing the subconscious, you're no longer releasing. You might be crying, but you are not releasing energy. This is why people go through the recycling. I've cried you know, for years and years and years. Yeah, you did, but you didn't go underneath it. You never went to the surrender. The surrender is the complete loss of mind thoughts. There are no thoughts at all. You are the energy, the emotion, so fully, so completely that nothing else exists. That's when you're unraveling the subconscious. That's when you're releasing, okay? I actually had a woman, this is back in the 90s as well, early 90s, and she went into a past life of literally being attacked by like a tiger and she started screaming and she wanted, you know, in the session, she wanted to just pop out. And I was like, no, I kept her in it. I kept her in it and she did it. She stayed in the experience. She went through the trauma. She released the horror of being torn apart, of being, um, you know, starting to be eaten alive. And, and she went through that. And so as that shifted in her body, we released the trauma in her body. And after that session, I mean, her whole life changed drastically. Okay, because she released the trauma. So just imagine hundreds of lifetimes of different life traumas that are still lodged in your energy. Doesn't mean you have to go through each one, but they're gonna present. You can use your everyday experiences because it's gonna feel the same, you're in survival. Okay, you feel threatened on some level. So as you release and let go and let these energies move, it frees up and releases, so this is, so you're actually releasing all this trauma and then energies can leave the body much easier. Entities go easier because there's nothing for them to hold on to anymore. Another thing too, is the clearer your energy field is, the less energy can attach to it. So if you have all this emotional wounding, you're gonna be very reactive. If someone looks at you weird, you're gonna think they're judging you and you're gonna have a reaction. Okay, but as you get clearer, it doesn't matter what someone does. They could be looking at you and th making faces or whatever, and it's like you won't feel anything because you don't have anything for it to attach to. So clearings are an awesome way to come back to the true divine light that you are. What's really cool is you don't have to do anything. You just get to sit here or lay here and relax and go into a little bit of sensation of feeling and then, you know, magic happens. You're feeling shifted. Okay, so the reasons we are self-sabotaging, coming back to our topic today, is if you have all these experiences and you're anchored in, like for example, the child that comes in and the parent tries to abort, they got all those issues, unworthiness, not love, all that. If you've got that running, why would you possibly let yourself have joy and happiness and success and abundance and relationships and all the things that we're really here to experience? You're not. You're going to get in the way. You're going to stop it because you won't let yourself have it because on some level you're believing you must not deserve it. It may have been a lifetime, you know, 20 times back where you, you know, anchored in that, oh, don't deserve to have love, don't deserve to have success. Wherever you started it, you just kept recreating it over and over and over each lifetime, reinforcing it to now here you are. Your, your mind is saying, oh, yes, bring it on. I want love. I want success. I want relationships, you know, I want all these wonderful things. And yet, even when you say those words, you can feel in your body a block, can't you? Like if you were to say right now, let's just, just in your own mind, okay? What do you want most? Is it relationship? Is it success in a business? Is it connection with friends? Is it um, just having, just being your own self? You know, what is, what would be your you know, your desire, okay? So when you think about that desire right now, go ahead and just think about it right now, okay, whatever that is. Notice what your body feels like. You can feel you're not gonna let it in, can't you? Like if you tune in and really feel, you can feel something's going on inside. It's physical, isn't it? It's a physical sensation, it's an emotional sensation. It's a blocking. There's no way. Oh, check this out. Okay, someone just presented. Sorry, you guys. 
this happens. Sometimes someone I'll be doing this and something will present. So I'm actually looking at some entity inside of someone's body, literally saying, no, 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 like this. Okay? I won't tell you who. It doesn't really matter, but that one's out of here soon. <laughs> okay? So when you just think about whatever your heart's desire is, whatever that is, Feel the energy inside. So this is what we're going to be going after today, is these resistances, these energies inside. Okay? But keep in mind, really, it's like really important that you really get and acknowledge and really know you are the Creator. You are Creator Incarnate, you're Divine Light, and you are creating your reality 100%. Okay? So once you start accepting that, then you can no longer be going, well, he did this, and she did that, and they're the reason why my life, and how did you do that to me? It's like, no, nope. I called you in. I called you all in so that I could have this experience, so I could unravel and unwind it. That's why I called it in. That's another piece I wanted to mention. So how you create your reality is you literally, your frequencies are pulling to you, even if it's across the globe, you're going to pull to you the perfect person, the perfect situation to activate that feeling so you can be done with it. So next time you have a reaction, rather than going into the reaction, remember, oh, I pulled this to me to cause this reaction so I could light it up, so I could find it. Now I found it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay? <laughs> And then, and then you go into the clearing aspect of it, which brings me to another piece. This is this weekend, I'm thinking, we've got healer, heal thyself, which means if you've got any sense of self or any senses at all, and you take this, pro, this particular pro program, you're going to be able to clear a lot of stuff that I do. Okay? All right. So self-sabotaging, the best way to start pulling up what's inside of you that's interfering inside of you, and it's going to be many, many, many things. There's going to be implants, there's going to be entities, there's going to be dark force stuff, there's going to be minions, there's going to be past life things, all kinds of really cool things. 